on ESPN Boxing Show uh, Saturday. Uh, we've got the two main event guys up here on stage, Regis Progre, who's from the, uh, uh, the area here, Juan Jose Velasco, who is uh, going to be fighting Regis. The lot at stake in that fight, the winner uh, likely headed to that 140-pound tournament. So a lot uh, on the line there. Some details here uh, before we get to some of the undercard fighters on the stage. The doors for this event opens up at uh, 3 central time. Uh, the first fight's at 3.30. That's going to be broadcast on ESPN Plus. Uh, ESPN and ESPN Deportes at 6 o'clock. You've got Lopez versus Silva and then Progre uh, against Velasco. This event is promoted by Top Rank in association with DeBell Entertainment. The tickets are priced at $200 for ringside, $125 for the floor, $75 and $40. They're on sale right now and can be purchased at the Lakeland Arena box office, Ticketmaster.com. Uh, they're just great discounts for students, New Orleans Police Department members. Uh, $75 tickets, $50 and $40 seats, and $25 are available when presenting valid ID at the Lakefront uh, Arena box office. So before we get to some of these fighters, uh, two guys that have been at a lot of events together over the years, uh, Carl Moretti and Lou DiBella. Uh, Carl Moretti representing Top Rank. Uh, Carl, what do you... Uh, so to explain kind of why we're here in New Orleans, I guess. Thanks, Chris. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Um, on behalf of Top Rank, it's uh, great to be back in uh, New Orleans. Um, obviously, with ESPN and what we've been doing with ESPN, uh, the job of a promoter really is is to find a, a good story, go out and tell it, and uh, literally that's uh, the main objective here with New Orleans. You've got uh, Regis Progress, who's uh, a great story, and we plan on telling it Saturday night over the broadcast and in print. Um, it helps that he's a great fighter, too. Um, but all this will come out on Saturday night. ESPN will do their thing, just like they told the stories of other fighters who have been in main events. And let me introduce uh, somebody who owes me $100, but they told his story, but he's the best fighter in the world right now, and he's down here to see this Terrence Bud Crawford. Bud, stand up. <laughs> Get that hey, man, it's honey. There you go. The, uh, the, the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, in there my view. There you go. In so I, know, I know you have another guy at top rank. You guys think maybe number one, but to me, I mean, nah, nah. Pr respect. No, nah, he's but, you know he's done it over that, and over. That, this there guy right is. now, at the moment, in my mind, is the best pound for pound fighter. There you go. So really, that's what brings us to New Orleans is, is Regis progress, and uh, we look forward to the broadcast on Saturday night, obviously. Lou, you're part of this co-promotion here. You co-promote a lot of fights with a lot of different promoters. Uh, what's it been like working with Top Rank here on this ESPN show? Um, you know, I, I do work with a lot of other promoters, but to some extent, co-promotions are becoming a little bit rarer, and they're particularly becoming rarer. It's rarer where you work with another promotional company, and you actually have no difficulties, and you're allowed to do your thing and try to create the best product together. Um, you know, right now, a lot of Top Rank's focus is on launching, helping ESPN launch this ESPN Plus app. Um, boxing's a big component of that app, along with it, every other major team sport and sport. Um, a lot of fights on ESPN itself, the linear channel, the regular ESPN channel that Regis's fight and Tiafimo's fight um, will be on ESPN, which is great, great exposure. And then it's going to throw off to Manny Pacquiao against Matisse on the ESPN Plus app. So these guys have a lot of focus right now on the app and on their television venture. Um, we did, you know, we were able to co-promote this and, and they let my company really um, take the lead to some extent locally and, and do a lot of the work. And frankly, it was a pleasure working on this event and I think you're gonna see the results of that when you walk into UNO Lakefront Arena on Saturday afternoon and you see a, a crowd that's excited to, ha to see Regis Progre in a homecoming against an undefeated opponent and, and Tiafimo um, stepping up to a, a world-class uh, level opponent. And um, I think it's gonna be a great night of boxing along with a load of local fighters. Uh, you know, Charles Conwell, US Olympian on the undercard. It, it, it's a terrific card. And, um, and frankly, my, my company's had a really enjoyed the experience of what this was like the kind of co-promotion I'm used to from 15 years ago. And, and, and frankly, that's a really positive thing. A couple of those lo local fighters uh, Lou was talking about, I want to acknowledge uh, out here in the crowd. Uh, Jonathan Montrell is out there. Uh, Jeremy Hill, uh, I believe, is out there, right there in front of me. Sorry, guys, <laughs> lights I can see. Uh, good luck to both of you guys uh, on Saturday. Uh, some of the undercard fighters before we get to the main events. Uh, Eric DeLeon is 130-pound fighter. Uh, he's fighting this week. And Eric, uh, how do you feel about this fight? Oh, sorry, right here. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I feel good. I'm, uh, I'm very excited. I'm, uh, I want to thank Top Rank and my whole team, my father, and um, yeah, like I said, my manager as well. And uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see all my fans. And uh, you, you guys are in for a really special treat. Can't wait to display my talent and everything I got, everything I worked so hard for in camp. It's going to show Saturday, so make sure you're there early. What do you try to show in, in fights like this? Um, basically, you know, I make adjustments, whatever. I, you know, I, I can do it all in the ring. I think I'm, I'm available to capitalize and make adjustments, and that's what it's all about. And uh, Saturday, you guys are going to see a more complete fighter, and you guys are going to see a, a very exciting fighter. Well, good luck on Saturday. Uh, Charles Conwell I saw in the Olympics in Rio. Uh, terrific fighter, strong fighter. Uh, how do you feel your, your pro career has gone since uh, turning pro after Rio? Uh, I, feel like, I feel as if my pro career is going uh, real well. I've been active. I've been uh, up against some uh, good, tough opponents. And I'm just growing and getting better as each fight goes on. What's the biggest adjustment for you, you know, going from the amateur ranks into the pros? Uh, probably just going more rounds, but other than that, it's it's all the same. As, all, as long as you're a good fighter, you're a good fighter, and you can adjust to anything. Uh, you know, Chris, he'll, he'll also be fighting Travis Scott. I don't know if Travis is here or not. Um, the rapper? <laughs> not that Travis Scott. But he's fighting Travis Scott, who's um, a, a local kid from Louisiana with a real good record, uh, who's been, been in there with a lot of real top opposition. So it, it's a real step up in opposition for Charles. Um, but he is fighting a, a, a kid, local kid, that people come out and support and, uh, and see a local kid fighting Charles. You've signed Charles Liu uh, out of the Olympics. Why did you go after him? Um, to be honest with you, the, the two fighters sitting on this, two Olympians on this stage right now, um, Charles and Tiafimo in my power ranking list of the guys that I thought were the best fighters I saw in the Olympics. Um, I, I don't pay a lot of attention to how the fighter does in the Olympics because of the corruption and the scoring. Um, but but I, these were the guys I had one and two top ranked uh, Tiafimo and I wound up with Charles and I think we're both pretty happy. And I think they're both sitting on the stage for a reason. They're two of the best young fighters in the world today. Thank you. I guess we can, since he mentioned you, TFM, we'll turn over to you. Um, Carl that just, quick? Yeah, that quick. We'll go okay. that quick. Um, I just heard the promoters here talk about the step up in competition that you're making uh, in a fight like this. How do you feel about it? I feel great. It's about time. Um, it's about time. I definitely want to showcase uh, more of what I'm capable of doing. People have yet to see everything of me. Um, you know, competition, uh, top rank, you know, the matchmakers, uh, Brad Goodman and Bruce Trampler, they're doing a hell of a job with me. You know, um, this, is a good come, uh, this is a good step up. Definitely, definitely. Uh, fighting a guy that uh, his only defeat was with Felix Verdejo, and he went the distance with him. But at the end of the day, I'm no Felix Verdejo. Carl, about time. <laughs> you know, talking about ESPN, I think one day we're going to do a 30 for 30 on Tio and his dad <laughs> because this story just keeps getting better and better. But, yeah, obviously, you know, the... We understand his potential. Brad does all his fights. You know, he wants to fight, you know, everybody. But that's not how you develop fighters. He's 20 years old, I think. And uh, there's no rush here. But he's clearly has shown himself to be uh, able to handle 10-round fighters in the ring with only eight fights. And uh, as long as everything comes out Saturday night with William Silver, you know, we'll, make, we'll figure it out after that. What excites you about Tiafimo's future? When he Tiafimo. leaves the office. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> no. I mean, you know, he, he's so enthusiastic about everything. He watches everything. Um, you know, he loves doing what he's doing, which is the best part of it. You don't have to motivate him to go to the gym. You don't got to worry about him outside the ring. He just loves the sport. And he dedicates himself, you know. Pe people forget these guys, you know, the ring is in the ring Saturday night and, and they fight and everything. But what these guys go through six weeks before the fight is really where the work is done. And if they don't take care of that, then they can't do what they have to when fight time comes, and they all know it. So we always see the end result. You don't see getting up at 6 in the morning and doing five miles of work and sparring 80 rounds. And, you know, it's, it's a whole different game for them. So we appreciate it and uh, go from there. Big opportunity for Teofimo, big opportunity for his opponent, uh, William Silva. Only one loss on uh, his resume. William, how are you feeling about this fight? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, just uh, I've said. Yeah, big big opportunity for him. 
sinto Amador, boa né? tarde é, me sinto Amador. bem preparado estou listo fiz um bom campamento junto à minha equipe é, agradeço a oportunidade de terem me regalado na pelea tão tão importante e estou listo para regalar lhe na na grande pelea sábado okay, actually. Oh. you want to He said he's ready for the fight. It's a real important fight. Um, training was, you know, he had a real good training camp, and he's just, you know, he's ready for this fight, basically. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you want to say something? Yes. Yeah, get a follow. <laughs> <laughs> we should just leave. Thank you. Estou listo para pelear. Vamos para corte. Já. You ready for this fight? You're ready for this fight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Jean Carlos Rivera is an undefeated featherweight. He's going to meet a 10 round fight against uh, Aviero uh, Simeon. Uh, he's from Orlando, Florida. Uh, Jean Carlos, how are you feeling about this fight? Uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, coming off, uh, uh, I haven't fought since November, so it's been a little bit of time off. But um, I'm feeling great. Uh, we've been training this whole time, and I'm ready for the 10 rounds. We were supposed to fight um, Jose Haro for the USBA title, um, and unfortunately he pulled out. And then we were supposed to fight uh, Viral Simeon, who has fought Scott Quigg and Lee Selby for a 10 rounder, and um, unfortunately also he pulled out. And so um, now I'm fighting An um, Angel Luna, and um, uh, we're ready for whatever he brings. For people that, that haven't seen you fight, how would you describe your style? Um, well, I can do a lot of different things. Um, I still got a lot to prove. I still got a lot to show. Uh, I can I can fight however the fight needs to go. If I need to go toe to toe, I'll fight toe to toe. I can fight going backwards if I have to, and I can put the pressure if I have to. Well, good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I got your opponent wrong there. It dropped out the last uh, last second. Uh, the main event, of course, is uh, Regis Progre Juan Jose Velasco. Uh, as I mentioned, the top lot at stake for both these guys, uh, a slot in the 140-pound tournament, uh, chance for a, a lot of success in the future. Uh, we'll start with Juan Jose. I mean, going up against Regis uh, on his uh, sort of home turf here, how are you feeling about this fight? We're not allowed you to translate for my guy. I don't Please. speak Spanish. I speak no, no, Portuguese. I, <laughs> so, I, can, I can, if you want, I can translate for him without him even talking. You want me to do that? <laughs> Oh, yes. I, I was here on, on Saturday night. I like night. it. I, I like it. Oh. Yeah. Hype it up. Hype it up. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes, Nueva Orleans. Este, la verdad me siento muy contento, muy motivado. Esta es la gran oportunidad que estuve buscando en toda mi carrera, así que muy bien y listo para subir al ring. Well, uh, first of all, uh, say hello to all the New Orleans. And uh, he's very happy. He's, he have a tremendous uh, training camp, and uh, he, you know, he want to say thank you for this uh, great opportunity. That uh, he will take advantage of that. What do you think of? What do you think of Regis as a fighter? No, creo que es un buen boxeador. Este, por algo. Es campeón del mundo, yo quiero ser campeón del mundo y eh, quiero pelear con los mejores y ser el mejor del mundo. Así que hoy me toca asumir este compromiso y creo que estoy listo para pasarlo. Es muy simple, es un gran fighter. Para ser un gran campeón, tienes que luchar con los mejores fighters. Y estoy luchando, y quiero probar que el sábado de la noche soy el elite as well as él. Bueno, good luck on Saturday. Uh, Regis Progre es el. Undefeated, 140-pound uh, fighter, um, and this event, a lot of it's about you, you know, being here uh, in New Orleans. Before I get to the fight itself, what's it mean to you to be fighting here uh, in New Orleans? I mean, first off, you know, thank everybody for coming, but it was, you know, it's a dream. It's a dream to come here, you know, like the Lakefront Arena, I grew up right around the corner from there. Like in a car, you get there in literally like two minutes, you know, so just to be headlining that, like that's super important for me, and I'm like, I'm honored for it, you know. You have to, like right now, I have to like hide my, um, you know, excitement because I still have to fight. This dude gonna try to knock me out, you know what I mean? So I got to go out there and, you know, do my thing or whatever. But I'm, you know, I'm super excited. I might not show it, but I'm real excited to be, you know, fighting hometown. And not only that, you know, I'm trying to, my whole goal is to bring big time boxing back to New Orleans, you know. So not only a Regis Progray fight, you know, one day we might get Bud up here fighting, you know what I mean? Maybe one day me and Bud might fight here, you oh, know what I mean? No. At 47 one day, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's got to be a 47 because he had enough of 40. Over what? You want to be a 47? I said, that's what I said. I I'll give you my money. <laughs> Come on, bud. Can you get me get, get my hundred dollars back? He picked he picked the Cavs yeah, he, against Golden he, he State. He got the I, money, man. You still look at right? He right? got the money. He got Gucci hats on and all that. Look at him. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. I'm I'm like I said. I'm I'm glad to be fighting here. And you know, my whole thing is to bring you know bring the big time boxing back to New Orleans. You know, not only like I said, not only Regis program, but you know all the big time boxing. You know, so this is you know this is the start of something big. Has there been for you in the last couple of weeks any distractions um, as you're preparing to fight here, as you look, not try to look ahead, but you have maybe big things ahead of you down the line? How hard has it been to stay focused in a night like this? I'm focused. Um, it's no distractions for me. All this is normal. You know, it's a part of the game, you know. So it's just, for me, it's just, like I said, it's a part of it. It's no distractions for me. I just got to go out there and, and, and I take one day at a time. So I'm not looking towards the tournament. I'm looking towards this dude right here. You know, I'm not... I'm not, you know, I don't look for the future. I take one day at a time, and, you know, that's how I go at it. Uh, Lou, you think you can make New Orleans into a fight town? Um, look, you never fought here before. This is the first time, right? Yeah. This I, is mean, the, I, fought, I fought at the Gretna thing before, and I fought in Metairie, but as far as New Orleans, New Orleans, this is the first time. You know, this is the first time, and... and um, I had a lot of street fights here, though. <laughs> uh, I got jumped a couple of times, so you know I, I didn't. I damn near got killed in a street fight before. Um, I, look, this is the first time I've fought here, and this town. I mean, just walk around. There's a lot of buzz. I mean, people know what's going on Saturday night. Um, you know, the aspiration is to be a sports franchise for New Orleans. I mean, it, he, he keeps taking care of business. We're going to keep coming back to New Orleans. I mean, we, we've done, you know, real well this week. The, the aspiration is to be what Bud is in Oklahoma. Omaha, 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 oh my God, oh, 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 I didn't, Omaha, that wasn't intentional. And he thinks you're the best fighter in a way, I mean, this, just say. Okay, no, no, but, but, but he's, just, he, uh, my, I think, actually, I think, I think Bomac's going to fight you. My, 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 Bomac was, wanted to fight me for a long time, actually, <laughs> but I got nothing to love, love for you, Brad, seriously, but he's wanted to fight me for a long time. Um, the, the, my, my buddy owns the Omaha Storm Chasers, which is the, the, the minor league team in, in, in Omaha. And, and he says to me all the time that, that Bud is a sports franchise in Omaha, like literally a sports franchise. I believe that Regis is going to be a sports franchise in Louisiana, particularly in New Orleans. This town has had, going back to Sullivan against Corbett, but it's all, I mean, this fight, this town has had huge fights in it. This, is, this at one point was a fight town for the biggest and best fights in all of boxing. This is the guy that can make that happen for the future. You know, this is a guy who has the ability to, to and I believe, in very short time, is going to be cl climbing up that list that I think Bud Crawford right now is on the top of, uh, that pound for pound list, that mythical pound for pound list. And, I, and, and, and the desire is to make boxing a sports franchise um, here in New Orleans. I, I want to take this moment, though, because it's, it's apropos, to thank some of the people in New Orleans that helped, you know, on, the, on this event. Um, the, uh, the people at the UNO, UNO Lakefront Arena were great. Um, the chief, Les Bonanno, who's something of a legend here in, in, uh, in New Orleans and, uh, and has been a boxing promoter here forever. Um, Tony Flott and his people at Strictly Business, thank you, Tony. Um, Chase and Susie and the New Orleans Boxing Club, you guys were a tremendous help, thank you very much. And, um, and, and it's been a, a great effort, but it's paid off. I mean, from the second I got off the airplane, Taxi drivers are talking about this fight. People at the airport were talking about this fight. And you have a sense that people know there's a big time boxing event here. And it's been 55 years since a uh, native New Orleans has come here and fought a world title fight um, in New Orleans, 55 years. So this is sort of um, something of an historic occasion. Well, the doors for this fight, they open at three o'clock central time. Uh, the first fight's at 3.30, you can catch that on ESPN Plus. Uh, ESPN, ESPN Deportes, that broadcast starts at 6 o'clock, then Lopez Silva, followed by uh, Pro Gray and Velasco. Good tickets are still available. You can go to Lakefront Arena. You can go to uh, Ticketmaster.com. A lot of places you can still grab uh, some of those tickets. Carl, anything else you want to hey, add? He wants to close it. He, I, I was going to yeah, pivot back since he keeps looking at me to, yeah. to talk more. You ain't let me talk. I gave you like two questions. One. I was told only to give guys one. I was instructed. All right. Carry on. Um, basically, yeah, Saturday night, this is uh, my co-main event. I'm going into my 10th fight, fighting a guy that's, what is a uh, 20, 20, well, 24, 25 and one? Yeah, 25 and one. 
Um, I'm excited, definitely. This is uh, my first 10 rounder where I'm fighting for the WBC uh, vacant Continental America's uh, title. And um, most importantly, it's the takeover. Like I said, anywhere I'm at, I'm taking over. Uh, you know, um, this is a great event. Um, thank you, Lou. And also, thank you, Top Rank and ESPN. Um, and also, my manager for everything. I'm just grateful, man. Honestly, at the end of the day, this is, uh, this is what I came here to do. I love what I do, man. And hopefully, um, hopefully Silva could at least let me in show a little bit to the fans. <laughs> at least. And that's it. Reedus, you want to close the show there? Might as well, right? This is my city, right? Yeah, um, let me go ahead and close the show. First off, thank y'all again. Make sure y'all come out to the Lakefront Arena. You know, we're going to have fun. We're going to have a lot of A-list celebrities in the house. You know, I don't want to say their names right now, but, you know, we're going to surprise y'all when y'all come out there. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Bring your babies, chickens, dogs, whatever. Everybody come to this fight because we're going to have a lot of fun. It's not going to just be a, a fight. It's going to be an event, you know, and, and people that don't, a lot of people haven't been to fights in New Orleans, you know, so like, you know, if the all this New Orleans people here, you know how we do, we get down, we gonna party, we can have a, a nice time. Um, if these people never been in New Orleans, y'all gonna see, it's a different, New Orleans is a different city, this is a different environment, and you gonna see Saturday night. Thank y'all. All right, well, I think we're gonna take some pictures uh, up here. Good luck to everybody, and uh, thanks for joining us here uh, at the press conference.